Hello, it's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the left shoulder. We're looking in from the back to the front. You're laying on your side so that smooth, rounded object at the top of the screen is actually your humeral head. If you were just standing and I was standing behind you, your shoulder would look like this. There'd be the biceps right there. The humeral head would come off to the left because it's your left shoulder and that would be the glenoid. But since you're laying on your side, everything rotates just like that. And so now we can see the, um, we can see the biceps tendon and it is torn exactly like we thought. We're going to um, tug on it and show you. See all that? That's not good. That's a source of pain for sure. And I bet if we left it, it would tear completely on its own. But as it is, it's been causing pain. Let me see the scissors, arthroscopic scissors. So we're going to go ahead and cut that and get it out of the way, knowing that we're going to be doing a tenodesis in a little bit. Hold the camera right there. Knowing that we're going to be doing a tenodesis. Hold it right there, too. So here's a pair of scissors coming in. And there, now the biceps is gone, and it does not grow back inside the joint, so we don't have to worry about that being a problem for you anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and put a shaver in and look around the rest of the joint. I saw a little bit of a tear in the rotator cuff, so we're going to look at that for sure. Okay, got it. So here's the shaver. It has suction attached to it. This is that little flap on the rotator cuff. It's not that bad. Remember, things are magnified a bunch, so if we smooth that out, you can see it's just, just posterior to the biceps right there, which is already retracted a little bit once we released it. And then this is the undersurface of the cuff, and that sure looks pretty good. So I'm not worried about the cuff right now, but we're still going to mark it to make sure. And these other little areas in the labrum are, are essentially of no significance in terms of, hold the shaver underneath. Uh, yeah. In terms of being a tear, that's just normal wear and tear changes. Here's the posterior capsule. That looks good. Posterior humeral head looks good posterior labrum, glenoid looks good, no significant arthritic change. As we look down the front of the shoulder, this is the subscapularis tendon, that's the anterior, I should say the superior edge. This is the middle glenohumeral ligament coming across the subscap, you can see how wispy it is. Okay, and then as we look down the front of the shoulder, we can see the structures a bit farther down. There's not really a very well defined inferior glenohumeral ligament, normally it's right about here, you can see it just starting to form there. But st instability is not an issue, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, hold the camera there. I'm going to put the cannula back in, and we're going to take a spinal needle and just pass a, uh, a marker stitch through that anterior cuff so we make sure that we evaluate this on the other side. Again, just to make sure that there's no significant tearing right here. So see how we mark it right here? I just want to make sure there's nothing torn on the other side. So we'll take a stitch called a PDS, which under the arthroscope looks kind of purple. There it is there. We'll pass a bunch of this into the joint. And then we'll go ahead and back the needle out. And we'll go off on the video because we've got to change positions with your shoulder in just a second. So we'll go ahead and pause there. Okay, so I'm going to show you where we're at here. This is our marker stitch. Um, and again, this is why we put it in, because we can see what, exactly where it's going through the rotator cuff here. I'm going to pull it out now because I don't need it anymore. So we're still going to look at this spot, but we don't need the stitch in anymore. And now we have it removed. So now we'll take our shaver, and we will remove some of the synovium over the cuff just to make sure there's no hidden tear up here. You can see our anterior cannula here. We know the biceps is basically right under here. And as we look down here, the rotator cuff looks great all the way over the lateral aspect of the tuberosity. Okay, so I don't see any significant rotator cuff problems here. We'll look towards the poster aspect of the cuff. It should be back in this region. And once again, as we look all the way down the lateral aspect of the tuberosity, it looks good. So the rotator cuff is intact, so we can sleep good tonight knowing that. Still got some work to do on the biceps, of course. 
And as we look here, I'll show you what we did with the bone. You had a big bone spur over by the clavicle, by the AC joint. We removed that, and that's why when we look up at the top of the screen now, this is nice and flat because we've already worked on it with our burr. So this is the undersurface of the acromion at the top of the screen. The AC joint is actually over here. See it? That's your clavicle right there. There was a spur right here that we removed that was had the potential to dig down into the rotator cuff, so we took it away. Okay, so we're going to finish up here and get to work on the actual tenodesis part of the surgery, which we do through that little incision in your armpit, which means this will be the end of the video portion of the case. So I really hope that uh, everything we've done so far and everything we're about to do really does the trick for you. So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.